The shunting yard near Great Wharton was full of trucks, and Miss Sally wanted to get rid of them all so they would have enough room for other trains. So Steve and Stanley were ordered to shunt the trucks into one train for Hank to take. They shunted the trucks to the station, ready to go. You two have done a mighty fine job of organizing this train. Oh, it was nothing. It'll be great to have more room in the yard now. Just then, the engines heard the sound of a spluttering motor. A red lorry rounded the bend and parked next to the engines. He looked tired and rather cross. Not you again. This is disgraceful. My driver works my wheels off, forcing me to make deliveries around this blooming island. And what's the only thing I see around here? Out of date steam kettles. Hank, Stanley, and Steve glared at the lorry. We are not steam kettles. And we are not out of date. Yes, you are. Your jobs can easily be done by buses and lorries. Now listen here, you. We don't want any trouble around here. Now move along. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. And with a loud splutter of his engine, the lorry rowed away. Nice work, Hank. No problem, partner. If you don't mind me asking, who was that lorry? He doesn't have a name, but we call him Old Rattler. He's new to the island and has been working here for a couple of weeks. He works for Ed's Garage, which supplies building materials. Oh yes, but he's been rude ever since he arrived here. I see. Well, thanks for telling me about him. I'll try and stay away from him. And with that, Hank left the station with his long train. The next day, it was raining and the rails were very slippery so the engines had to be extra careful. In the shunting yard, a bunch of scrap was left on the ground, so Old Rattler was sent to take it away. The workmen began loading him up. Why couldn't one of those kettles do this job? I have enough work as it is. Oh, stop complaining, you. It was soon time to go. The driver put him into gear, and with a cough and a splutter, he rolled away. He dropped off the scrap and made his way home. Meanwhile, Hank was due to take a goods train to Vigorstown. As he puffed out of the yard, he was unaware of what would lay ahead. Many of the level crossings along the Fat Controller's Railway have special bells for cars and lorries to notify the signalmen that they are there. Old Rattler's driver was new to the island and didn't know about the procedures. With a loud cough of his engine, he stopped in the middle of the crossing. Come on, come on! I can't stay here! I'm trying, but your engine won't start up again! Then, they both heard a whistle in the distance. Old Rattler's eyes widened with fright as his driver climbed out of the cab and ran to safety. Hank saw the stranded lorry ahead. What in tarnation? Hank applied his brakes. But the train was too heavy, and the rails were slippery. Then it all happened at once. The crew, guard, and the lorry driver went to inspect the damage. You clumsy engine! Look what you've done to me! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry little guy. Don't you call me little! Soon Butch came to take the lorry away. 
Then Hank continued on his way. Later that day, Miss Sally wanted to speak with Hank. Hank was worried that Miss Sally would be cross with him, but to his surprise, she was smiling. Today's accident wasn't your fault, Hank. The lorry driver didn't ring the bell at the crossing, and the roads were wet because of the rain. Plus, you've taught that lorry a lesson not to mess with us. I think you're a hero, Hank. Thanks, y'all. But what about the lorry? Will he be all right? Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be going back to the mainland where he will be repaired and will stay. You lot won't have to deal with him ever again. Looks like we don't have to worry about running into him again. Everyone couldn't help but laugh. Even Hank had to chuckle.